Alright, so I got the Daughter of Chaos. Alright, so I believe there's another place. Before we go to the forest, I, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna do a bit of showing here. I'm gonna be... So, I believe... Uh, okay, so that is this woman right here. I cannot talk to her whatsoever because we don't speak the same language. But I can, in fact, kill her for another Fire Soul Keeper. In which case will allow me to heal a bit more. Now, there's this place. And the... The, the wonderful frame rate that is giving to me right now is so wonderful. Now, I don't know what's around here, so I'm going to have to guard as well and sprint at the same time. Oh, there's a bonfire here. All right. I thought, why would you put it? Maybe the game knew, like, oh, you're probably going to kill her. So, yeah, there's a bonfire for you to use after you killed her. So, it doesn't matter anyways. So, I got these people right here. Which are probably praising Quelan or Qlan. I, I would say Quelan more. And there's that thing over there because you there's that fog. The hell, the hell went wrong with my freaking controller? All right, the frame rate is so beautiful in this freaking place. All right, so there's that thing right there. There's a there's a fog, right? And if you look over there, there's a freaking tentacle dancing right now, probably awaiting. To rape me. In which case it's not that nice anyway. So I don't know if I want to be here as of yet. And this place also leads me to the, the Isolith place that France was talking about. In which case it's one of the mo one of the powerful people kind of things, alright? Alright, so we got Sunlight Altar. Uh Dark Moon Tomb. I forgot these freaking places. Let's go to Dark Moon Tomb. Let's see what... I, I forgot. I just forgot. I'm, I'm so bad at memories nowadays. I'm like... I, I remember places but when I'm looking at it. Oh, okay. So that is uh, Anna Londo. Alright. So that is the second uh, thing. The second... I don't know what's it called. Sunlight Altar. I believe that is where Guinevere is. The Chamber of Princess. Of the princess let me let me go there maybe that is where Guinevere is if not I'm wrong oh, yeah th that is where Guinevere is so what is this sunlight altar place where is this oh okay so the dragon is still not yet dead eh? I believe I believe so. So, I don't want to be here any longer because I have no no more business in here, basically. So, <clears throat> let's go to the Undead Parish. Go to the forest. Probably find Sif. And then there you go. That is the freaking session right there. Now, the reason why I'm also recording, and it's, it's quite short as well, is because <clears throat> it's because of the... I was supposed to be recording with the Fred... Uh, a friend, not a friend, uh, and you know he's he hasn't woken up yet, so that's basically why I'm recording this session right now. Now I normally record Dark Souls during the week because if I can find at least one hour on that day, and on within that hour, I I, I have to be having the energy to record. Like this time, I mean I'm not as energetic as I usually am on a freaking normal day, but. It's not bad. It's not bad after all, so, yeah. Uh, dark Root Garden. There you go. A lot of Dark Root stuff in this freaking... Right, there you go. Um, that's dead. Did you drop anything? No, nope, doesn't seem like you drop anything. So, let's just go ahead. And, of course... Alright, there you go. Alright, there you go. Pillage body. Another pillaging of the body, and then run, because I don't think there's much to, to do here anymore. Now, uh, it's just so much things to do, basically, now, because, I mean, there's not much things to do, but those things that I have to do is, is pr it's pretty damn hard, you know. I have to fight four freaking powerful bosses in the freaking game. Now, like I mentioned, there's a, there's a cave where... Where actually, 
that leads me to Nito, right? And that's basically where I get the boss fight that would also allow me to have plus 20 uh, things. So, plus 20 SS flasks. And that's basically how I found out about it. Oh, there, there, there's a ninja guy right there. So, that's the mage guy. He did not even use a, a single magic skill, which is pretty damn good. Or else I'm gonna freaking... Alright. Alright. Uh. Alright, come on, just come here, please. Alright, there you go. Ah. Uh. No, I just missed. Great. Oh. Well, you just stood still there. You just wanted me to kill you anyway, so there you go. I just took the opportunity. Or right, there's this one guy right here that heals, basically. I mean, the, how how I got rid of these guys is uh, the freaking sword I used to use before, the Black Knight sword. Alright, there you go. Oh, he just attacked me. Alright, there you go. And, you know, let's just switch back to the freaking uh, Black Knight Sword. I really miss this weapon. It's really good. It has a lot of damage. It scales with strength. Although, I have not scaled anything with strength right now. But, anyways. Still does a lot of damage. Let's see. Almost 300 damage. And, of course, this, this guy right here. Right, there you go. Yeah, this guy does a lot of damage, especially when he freaking... Yeah, look at that. It's not little damage. Alright. Uh... There you go, now you're finally dead. <laughs> Alright, <laughs> let's just heal up with a freaking heal skill. So, there you go, finally got that. And we're from. I hope we can win the freaking boss fight. I mean, like, I don't know much about the Uji Katana I have, I'm using. I mean, I saw a really cool upgrade, which is the freaking lightning sword I saw. And this is where I actually got. Uh, I think. I, I believe this is where I actually got uh, this armor set. No, it's actually right there. That the chest right there, if you guys see. That's where I actually got it. Alright, so this place looks really, really unsafe. And I don't know what will happen to me, so let's just hope for the best because... Oh, there's a freaking foggy gate right there, right? There you go, we're supposed to go there. I just hope... Alright, those, those... What the hell? Are those freaking toads? What the... First, we got candy box from freaking Dragon Quest. And then now we have freaking Toad Soldiers from freaking Mario. What else? What else do we have to expect? Alright, so I hope I don't die here because it doesn't look like a freaking deep jump anyway. Oh, there you go. Oh, it's not that. I didn't even take any damage. Oh, good. Alright, you know, I don't know what should I do. I think you should just switch to freaking... Uji Katana just to be super safe because it has a lot of speed and I've never fought Sif I've always I've always seen one boss fight video from someone else and that's how I basically got it he moves a lot he moves a lot on my on my perspective on my point of view he moves a lot he jumps a lot he doesn't really attack he only attack well we, we all get to find out soon there's a freaking giant ass sword right here, which I really, at first I thought was a freaking weapon we can actually use. But, oh, what's this? Um, a hornet ring. Let's see what does have. Boost, critical hit. Oh, never mind it. I'm, not, I'm more of a raw damage kind of guy. Alright, so this is the boss fight. It's my first time fighting him, by the way, so if any mistakes were to happen, I'm, I'm, I apologize. But it's my first playthrough of this freaking game. He's a big ass freaking dog, though. And he used the sword as a weapon. Great. I mean, it's pretty damn cool at first. It's really damn cool. Kinda of reminds me of Okami, Okami game where the, uh, he actually uses uh, weapons as a freaking. Now that's a lot of freaking. Oh. All right, it did not hit me. Good. 
Oh, that's a lot of freaking... Oh, my God. All right, heal up now. That plus three is just really helpful. All right, that freaking... Holy crap. All right, there you go. Two, three. There you go. Three hits. Oh! All right, I dodged that good. Holy crap, I didn't know about that. Um... Yeah, he jumps a lot like that, and that is what's quite annoying. Now, I need a lot of stamina for this freaking boss fight. But good thing there's a lot of space here, because... I would appreciate the space of the freaking movement I can have here. Now, that's a lot of damage, and I would not like to take more of those. Alright. I didn't, I, didn't I didn't need to heal again. Oh, I didn't, I didn't, I thought I was playing Monster Hunter. I was pressing the X button, but X button in Monster Hunter is freaking dodge. Unfortunately, this game is square. Holy crap. That would have probably killed me in just two shots or something. Oh, I didn't guard in time. All right. The freaking frame rate when he's nearby is just ridiculously low. Um, He's probably gonna freaking, I don't know. Holy crap, that probably went through my freaking armor. Alright, this boss fight doesn't seem as hard as I expect it to be, but although I'm, I may intimidate, or not intimidate, I may overlook it, or something like that. Alright, the Uchi Katana is looking, is doing a bit well here, because it is, it's, it's in fact my fastest weapon that, it, that deals a lot of damage. Alright, alright, that is not good, because... Holy crap. Alright, that is kind of unfair, first of all. Alright. Just die now, please. Sif. You're about to die. So, you know, just do it quick, you know. Sleep attack! There you go, finally you're dead. Let me grab that sword. Oh, I didn't get the Covenant of Astoria. Covenant? Wait, Covenant? Did I just say Covenant? Covenant. I got the soul of Sif. There you go. I said... Alright, I got that. Right, let's see what I got here. I got key items. Cross I got Cross of Artorias. And there's a covenant of something else. Huh. I don't know what I just got, but it seemed like a bit important thingy. Cover. Oh. Now I don't know what this does. Traverse abyss. Covenant of Artorias. Well, there you go, I guess. I think that is what I need. I thought it's a kind of thing. Alright then. And I got like 69. <laughs> 69. That is demonically sexual. <laughs> because it doesn't. I don't know. It's a bad joke I came up with. So let's return to the bonfire. Because I don't think there's anything I can do anymore. And then, of course, warp back to Filing Shrine, of course. Um, yes. And then, what do I do with the freaking Covenant of, of Artorias? I hope that is required for the Four Kings fight. I hope so. I am pleased. Is it something? Well, I don't know yet, but before we continue, let, let's let feed him some souls of the dead. Whoa, what's this? Wow. 5,000. <laughs> and wow, that is a lot of souls. I didn't know about this. I did not know about this. Uh, 
All right, so Moonlight Butterfly. I don't need this 8,000. Not bad. I'm going to use it. Of Quail Lag. I found out that you can make weapons with these, but they're not as great as I expect them to be. Except for Sif, Smo, and Iron Golem. I have never actually um, used them yet. Prevents Estus recovery within a limited area. All right. Th th those things, I don't know. Dunk Pie. I'm going to let you eat shit because I can <laughs> Lure phantoms from other world. I don't need that. So there you go. Ultimate honor. I don't need. I don't need to give you that. It, it may seem a bit important. Bandit stuff. I should have done this in the freaking free time I have, but I totally forgot about that, and I apologize for that. We may be rich with souls now, and, and I appreciate that because we can have a bunch of freaking uh, level ups. Now these this thing here is not doing great for me so uh drake sword you did great but now is the time for you to leave because your upgrades are just stupidly expensive there you go all right you know let's just all right then uh someone's messaging me right now i don't know who this is it probably my friend that uh i'm supposed to record right now but anyways it i'm supposed to end it here anyway so mm, i might think of this a bit later uh a bit more endurance could be four, uh, three and freaking, uh, you know. There you go. I can have 200, uh, 300 damage now, which is pretty damn good. I don't need strength anymore, but I just need dexterity for my main damage. Uh, endurance, you know, let's just up the endurance a little bit. So there you go. This is the session for this. Yeah, this is the episode of these sessions now. So thank you very much for watching Dark Souls of me playing. This playthrough. I hope we can actually do something with the with the Coven of Artorias. I believe. I, I hope that does unlock the Four Kings fight, so we can do that in the next session and basically be happy that we would probably defeat them or not. But anyways, thank you guys for watching. Like I said, don't leave a like, comment, probably subscribe and share this video, and that would be a really I would be really appreciated with with that with your support. But other than that, have a nice day.